Hello, happy Monday. I'm Rochelle with ConfidentDreaming.com, your energy alchemist and integrative wellness life coach with a Disney twist here today with your Magical Monday message. It is part one of two and it's the wounded parent. And next week we'll talk about being the healed parent. Um, happy March. It is March 1st. We are in month three of 2021. And how is this year going for you? Um, before we get into today's message, I just want to invite you if you're two months in and it still feels like 2020 for you to reach out and um, let's have a conversation and how can we make this year a pivotal year in your life. Also, if you follow along with me and in my newsletter, you know I have a book of the month and this book, this month's book is Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg. Women work in the will to lead. March is like, oh, I forget how the official name goes, but I know it's Women's Month. And um, though this book was written almost 10 years ago, because I think it came out in 2012. It's 2013. Um, it's still pretty relevant today on how women lead and how we hold ourselves back in work and how we are perceived and how we feel we're perceived, right? If a woman's too strong, she's seen as a bitch. And if she's too weak or shows emotion at work, um, as I have in the past, you're told not to. Suck it up. Be more like a man. Be more business-like. So how do we balance all that and how do we bring our true authentic selves into the workplace or into life? Um, and how do we just do it? I'm not gonna say without feeling like we're being judged because I'm sure people are judging us. Um, so how to do it despite that feeling, right? And that is some of what I have in my program too. Um, being a parent, <laughs> there is nothing like mom judgment. And I mean, there's a reason Bad Moms was such a good movie and it's because we all really resonated with it and with the, the double standard and the judgment we saw in it. And that kind of ties into today being the wounded parent. We all have things we bring with us from our childhood into adulthood. And there's a lot of times that we as parents doubt our ability to parent properly because of some trauma that we may have experienced as a child. And trauma is not your fault, but taking charge of your healing is and it's part of change that you can control. There's a meme that goes around and it says twin boys were raised by an alcoholic father. One grew up to be an alcoholic and when asked what happened he said I watched my father. The other grew up and never drank in his life. When he was asked what happened he said I watched my father. Two boys, same dad, two different perspectives. Your perspective in life will determine your destination. If you are living with trauma, with grief, with something that happened to you in your childhood um, take the healing. I know most people push it down, say it happened when I was a kid. I'm over it. I'm fine. It's in the past, but it shows up. It shows up physically a lot of the time. Um, I am an integrative wellness life coach, which means mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual all tie into each other. Most of the time, if something is out of balance in one of those mental, emotional, and spiritual, specifically, it shows up in the physical life. So ailments like indigestion and, and some of those chronic diseases that are gut related have to do with things we've ignored for too many years to push down. It will come back. There is no doubt about that. It will come back. Um, in doing research for today's live, um, I came across many articles about growing up with a narcissistic parent. Um, and it's a lot of pain that we do carry into adulthood and into every area of our life, life not just parenthood. Um, if you had a narcissistic parent, you were raised never feeling you're good enough, you didn't feel safe, and you made sure you kept the parent happy in order to try to keep your life stable. So your feelings were invalidated. You tried to just make, make other people happy, right? Because if other people were happy, then life was a little bit more peaceful for you. And we really, these are traits that we carry into every aspect of our adult life that we don't have to anymore. So it's really hard when we've had them since being a child to break free because our brains don't like change. So we have to intentionally seek out people to help us change. Um, we have to be open to letting go of these stories. It is okay to have had pain Healing doesn't negate that. Healing doesn't make it that it never happened. Healing doesn't mean the pain never existed. It means the damage no longer controls our lives. 
How does that feel? If you're someone that's living with pain and it's and you get stuck in it and in self-loathing or in doubt as in your abilities, what would it feel like to not have that doubt control your life anymore? Next week, we are going to talk more into, I don't want to leave you on a bad note. And next week, we will be talking about the different healings that you can do with forgiveness and boundaries, energy healings, therapy, all that. But I want you to be open to digging back into your past, pulling it up and clearing it. Because that's, it, it's just an incredible thing to do. And I think because I am trained in the emotional clearing method that maybe I'll offer some single sessions. If there's something that comes up and it's been bugging you and you just want to clear the one thing, um, that, that we can do that. Um, it'd probably be two sessions, the first one to do it and the second follow up to make sure you're doing the proper energy care and things like that. So while healing takes work and it takes belief that it can happen, you can make, and it takes time, but we can make quantum leaps. We can make gigantic leaps forward in that healing you want when we do it on this energetic level, when we bring our whole systems into alignment. Also, I want to encourage you to think about the prospect that these lessons or that this trauma is a lesson you've learned. I have, I've said before, and I've talked with other people who have had problem childhoods like how can I ever parent and they doubt their ability to be able to parent because they didn't have what they felt were good parents and and I tell them you take those lessons you know exactly what you don't want to be you know exactly the kind of behaviors that didn't work um, the rules that didn't work and you can take that and learn to be a better parent people who have great parents may not know those same mistakes Right, and next week we're going to talk into forgiveness a lot, and and really coming to understanding that our parents did the best that they could with what they had. So, what's the best we can do? But that's next week. So, if you're somebody who's struggling, reach out. I'd love to chat. Um, I have a link on my website that'll send you to a free one-hour call, and we can discuss your options. And uh, and I, I would I would I am here to help. Um, my website may say I help moms and I do because I feel for them and I, and I am one so I know what they're struggling with but I really can help anybody and and I believe that when we clear the crap from our past we dig in and we connect within um, and then learn to trust our intuition that and, and really connect to our inner child which is the one that we're trying to heal with this this talk here that we have the ability to go after our dreams and more people that are living a life of their dreams or more people that are happy and they inspire others to do to do it as well, right? When a candle shares its flame with another candle, it doesn't, it's not any less dim, it brightens the world. So the more people that we have going after their dreams, the better this world will become. So if you're somebody who wants to see the world be a better place, Start going after your dreams because most of the time it's in service of others and it's not a selfish thing to do and you will be helping more people than by staying hidden and keeping your light hidden. But sometimes, and what we're talking about today, we have to go back. We have to do the healing work and we have to let go of these stories and these anchors that are dragging us down. So, and if you were with me last month, we talked about all the lessons in the movie Soul. And if you've seen Soul, then Moon Wind Star Dancer, you know he goes into that, uh, the grave before, and he's in that meditative state, and they do things in that energy realm. And that's kind of an idea of what I can do as well. So I just wanted to, if you've seen the movie and you know, then you know. And it gives you a physical perspective of some of the magic I have and um, the ability to help you heal and go after your dreams. So I hope you have a wonderful Monday and I will see you soon.